Welcome to Atlanta Live here on this Thursday evening edition. I'm Josh Franks. I'm your host for tonight, and I am so happy to have you joining with us. My beautiful wife, Ashley, is in the room with us tonight. She's going to be singing in just a few moments. We have two very special guests that are also here with us tonight. They're going to be sharing in testimony and in word and, and story and in music. And we're just going to have a grand time with them tonight. And we're looking forward to having our two special guests. And you, again, we're so thankful for you. You are our guest tonight, our honored guest. And we welcome you in here to WATC TV 57 right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia on this fall evening. And fall is surely in the air and we're getting ready as we trickle on down. The seasons are beginning to change and we're trickling on down into the winter before long. But I tell you, fall comes, winter comes and spring will be back before you know it. And we're just going to enjoy everything that the Lord has given us during this time and especially during this next 60 minutes as we share with you the wonderful story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, in the meantime, why don't you tell your friends and your neighbors we're on here live tonight. And as well, if you need someone to talk to or you need prayer tonight, there are operators that are standing by. There's a number at the bottom of your screen right now. I want you to call that number. And if you need a prayer, if you need someone to talk to, then you call that number. We want to hear from you. I told you my wife is in the room tonight. She's going to be singing a couple of songs. She has a brand new solo recording. And here's two songs off of that new recording. Would you welcome back to Atlanta Live my beautiful wife, Ashley Franks.
Ashley was tremendous. Well, thank you. You did a great job and a big hand from me, all right? <laughs> thank hey, you. Hey, Josh and Ashley Franks here. We're your hosts for tonight. Glad you're watching our Atlanta Live program. And uh, Ashley, we've got people not only watching right here in the greater Atlanta area yes. tonight, 
but I see people online, Facebook and YouTube awesome. and all of these other social media places, and they're watching from New York and from Kansas. I saw some folks watching from Canada just a few moments ago, and we are so happy to have you tuning in to Atlanta Live tonight. Actually, we have a special guest with we us, do. two special guests. This gentleman right here is a mm -hmm. dear friend of ours in our ministry. He has um, been producing our last couple of records. Yes. He has been a part of the Guardians mm -hmm. Quartet for the last 10 years. He is uh, a well-known songwriter as well as an incredible singer. He's won all kinds of awards for his songwriting, and we are just honored to mm -hmm. have him with us here on Atlanta Live tonight. The Guardians are not traveling this week, and right. so we were able to snatch him up as a little <laughs> soloist, if you will. You know, my favorite thing about this guy is he makes me sound good. He makes you sound <laughs> incredible. And we are happy to have John Darren yeah. Rousey good to be Atlanta here. Live tonight. Thank John, you for welcome. having me. I appreciate it so much. We're glad you're in Atlanta tonight. Well, good yeah. to be here. I love this city. You know, one of my favorite drives is when you're coming down that stretch of 75 and, oh, you, yes. and you see the skyline of Atlanta at yes. nighttime. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful, isn't it? It mm -hmm. is beautiful. But now for a few years you drove down this way because yeah. you haven't only been with the Guardians for several years. You were with Karen Peck and New River. Yeah, they're, they're based, based out right of here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you made that drive. So hey, it was a no drive for you today, huh? That's right. My car will almost drive itself. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you. John, give us a little history history of backstory, John Darren Rousey, and, and tell us what got you into this gospel music world? You know what? I feel so blessed because as early as I can remember as a kid, I wanted to do it. How many years have you been doing this? Oh my goodness. It's going on 30 years. Wow. wow. And I've done it since I was a kid. So sure, sure. Obviously more than 30 years, <laughs> but uh, as a vocation and full-time ministry, almost 30 years. Incredible. And uh, God is just He's always blown my mind because, you know, I think there's a piece of you when you're growing up and you wanted to do it right. so much that you, you feel like even when things start to happen to open up doors for your sure. ministry and all that, that you're a little bit of an imposter because you feel like an outsider, you know. But God has given me the desires of my heart, and I, I couldn't be more thankful. I truly appreciate the gift of standing in front of an audience and declaring this great music yeah. because it's full of the Word of God. Absolutely. When did you know, John, that this is what you were called to do and this is when, what you were going to do in life? Well, I think it became clear to me, you know, I, I said I wanted to do it from early childhood, but I think it became clear to me when people started to take an interest in my songs as a songwriter. Sure. And I wasn't the only one singing them. Other people were singing them at that point. And I felt like that uh, as God opened one door after another, the first, I guess, big cut that I had, which made a lot of other people, a lot of other groups want to record my songs, was with the Gaither Vocal Band back in the mid-90s. Yeah. And uh, they recorded a song called uh, Singing with the Saints. Singing with the Saints. Yes, I with John Starnes and Daryl Williams. And yep. um, after that, I, it wasn't so much that I had to pitch my songs so hard, people were coming to me and asking mm -hmm. right. for songs. And I think at that point I realized, you know what, this might this may actually work. This may be it. <laughs> this may be it. And, and name a few of the other songs that you've written down through the years that well, people are going to know. I've, fortunately, I've written for a lot of groups in gospel. Oh, I know. Music. Yes. I, I wrote a song that was a number one for the Kingsman Quartet called Joy's Gonna Come in the Morning. Yep. Karen Peck and New River, a number of songs for her during my tenure there and after. Um, I, I Want to Know How It Feels was probably one of the ones that people would... And you know, she still sings it every night. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, she is still singing it every night, but I've, uh, I've had songs recorded by the Hoppers and by Freedom Band they cut. Yeah. It was the title of another one of the Gaither yep. Homecoming videos. And so uh, needless to say, we, we like Bill Gaither, don't we? We do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? He is one of those people that have brought a great light on yes, the music we you're do. exactly right. And I'm so thankful that somebody like him who... He had the opportunity to deal in all kinds of genres in Christian yeah. music, yeah. but this was one that he loved, mm -hmm. yeah. and he shed such a great light on it. Yeah. Absolutely. We got a lot to be thankful to Mr. We, we really do. You know, John, speaking of that, and, and I believe in giving roses while they're living, not after they're yeah, gone. Bill Gaither may never see this video, and he may for all we know, but uh, if it wasn't for Bill Gaither and Gloria Gaither, uh, in those mid-90s up into the early 2000s, 
and those videos that were coming forth then, um, we have to wonder really where our gospel genre, genre of southern gospel would right. be today. I right. agree They were taking our music to audiences to that had never heard our music before, right. and you're right, to the entirety of the world. Well, you know, they have always been innovators because yes. even back in the 70s when they were writing songs that had become staples of the church, like yes. The King is Coming. Oh, yes. Because He Lives yes. and He Touched Me, and all those songs have become a part of the fabric of the church, and they... They knew there was something inside of them, yeah. and I think it was yeah. just the Lord's direction that Absolutely. said, "Take this to the church." Absolutely. And uh, this music that we do, our genre of Southern gospel music, is something that the church loves when they when they understand what it is. Absolutely, for sure. What What is it, John, that inspires you? Let's just move uh, to this direction for a few minutes because Ashley is a songwriter, and she's she's been writing a few here and there. And, she uh, wrote everything on that solo project. She did. She wrote everything <laughs> on that that you produced, by the way. That's right. And Josh, where can we get this solo project? <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Ashley Franks dot com. Yeah. Josh All and right. Ashley Franks dot com. Get that in there. <laughs> and uh, for a love gift of fifteen dollars, Josh right. and Ashley Franks dot com. <laughs> hey, uh, um, what is it? What inspires you to write? What what brings about writing for you? I know that's a yeah, well, for, lot of lot of questions. For me, it's it's a little bit of everything yeah. because I get song ideas from something my pastor will say. I get song ideas from something I see on television that either maybe it doesn't always inspire me. Maybe it gets a little righteous indignation going, you know, but yeah, I get yeah. ideas from that. I was going through the drive through the other day at McDonald's to get my daughter something, and there was a sign right before I got to the window to pay that was talking about the Ronald McDonald house, and uh -huh. it said where healing happens, and I thought, wow, I know another place where healing happens. <laughs> oh, man. And I started thinking about that, and a song came out of that. So for me, it's a little bit of everywhere, something your kids will say. Yeah. You know, you're going to find that when you are a songwriter, your ears are kind of perked up mm -hmm. for that little thing that becomes a hook right. out of nowhere. And boy, does it, it happens out of nowhere sometimes. And if I could ask John, what, John, what is your favorite song that you've ever written? What would it be? Oh, my goodness. Uh, whatever right now is. <laughs> but, you know, I, I will have to say, this goes back a few years. We were talking about the time with Karen Peck and New River. Right. Um, I wrote a song at that time just before we recorded the first album I did with Karen Peck and New River called The Truth Is. And I think there was something about that song that I needed at the time. And when a lyric speaks to you, yes. then you mm -hmm. can deliver that Absolutely. to other people. And boy, it spoke to me in a way that it built my faith every night to sing it because I felt like I was really declaring the truth of mm -hmm. the Lord. And I think still to this day, that, that's been a special yeah. uh, song to me. And, and one I'll do a little later in the show today called He Loves, you know, yeah. for a little different yes. reason. Absolutely. And you're going to sing for us today. Yeah, in I'm just a few to moments, that. you're going to sing for us. John travels with the Guardians uh, full time, and, uh, and and they keep a very busy schedule. Check them out, guardiansquartet.com. John has uh, two brand new recordings. Yes. One of them are our love songs and Christian love, Christian songs. love mm -hmm. songs. And it's awesome. And it's incredible. Mm -hmm. And then we're getting into that Christmas season. And you have a new Christmas record called Seasons of Believing, right? Season for Believing. Season yeah. for, for Believing. believing. And is. both of those are on the Guardians website. Yeah, if you go to guardiansquartet.com, you can get them there. And that Christmas project is probably something that I have dreamed yeah. for the last 10 years. It's incredible. And the Lord gave me the opportunity to got to record with a full orchestra awesome. and got to do all That's new great. Christmas songs that I've written or mm -hmm. co-written. And um, to get to do that is just, that was truly a gift from the Lord because I've wanted to for a long time. I'm a Christmas fanatic. Yeah. You know, my <laughs> Nothing family, wrong with that. My family taught me to be, so I come from the right family. <laughs> That's awesome. John Darren Rousey here with us on Atlanta Live. He's going to be singing for us in a few moments. You can go on the guardiansquartet.com website, check them out, go see them, order John's music. You'll be glad that you did. Amen. We'll come back to John in just a few moments to hear him sing, but now we're going back to the music set to hear another gentleman sing, and he's going to be talking with us in just just a few moments, but before he comes, let's hear him sing. Matt Linton is coming. Welcome, Matt, would you? I can't leap tall buildings. I can't stop a speeding train. Hey, if I could take a bullet, I 
still couldn't take the pain. No, oh, but it's not the place of a Christian to take matters in his own hands and just turn it over, report it to the original Superman. He can move a mountain, has power over night and day, and neither death nor height nor kryptonite can steal his power away. He don't hide in a phone booth, and never had a change of plan. Yesterday, today, forever, the original Superman. Yes, he did. No, he didn't come from another planet, but he owns the whole universe. Oh, he just left his throne in heaven and descended down to earth. Well, they found him once just to kill him. They drove nails in his feet and his hands. But he conquered sin, now he lives again. The original sets people free and if you remember what it was like to be bound then you know what it feels like to be free I got a question do you know how it feels do you know how it feels to know something's missing and hear a still small voice that you just keep dismissing do you know how it feels to be troubled inside to think just for you on a cross someone died do you know how it feels when he knocks to surrender have your sins washed away never to be remembered and know that it's real tell me do you know how it feels and how does it feel to know you're a child of
tonight, I know how it feels. I'm glad the Lord's hand reached down and saved me just in the nick of time. I was going down for the last time. No one heard my cry. My voice was swiftly fading, drifting with the tide. And from out of nowhere, gently slipped in mine. And I thank God he found me just in time. And welcome to Atlanta Live Prayer Room. I'm Leslie Jacob with the Praise Community Church, and welcome. Please call our number 770-300-9828 so that we can pray with you for whatever you might need uh, in, in need of and expecting God to manifest for you. We just want to know that, uh, let you know that Jesus loves you. And so much, John 3.16 say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
I want to give you an invitation right now to you to come to know Jesus, your personal Lord and Savior, if you don't know him right now. Call this number, 770-300-9828, so that we may be able to pray with you and give you that plan of salvation. Uh, if you're ready right now, I just want you to say this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, come into my heart. Please come and be my personal Lord and Savior. I believe that you love me and that you sent your son to die for me. Come into my heart right now. If you prayed that prayer, please call this number, 770-300-9828. And remember, call so that we may pray with you for whatever you may stand in the need of. God bless you. And now we're going back to the studio. Thank you so very much. And again, listen, if you have prayed that prayer, you call the number on Amen. that screen. We want to hear from you. Nothing else would make us any more happier tonight than to know somebody gave their heart and life to the That's Lord right. Jesus Christ. That's what Amen. it's all about. We're having church up in here. I'm telling you, <laughs> Matt Linton just knocked it right out of the park singing. And uh, it was so good to have John Darren Rousey to speak with. And again, we'll hear from him in just a few moments. He's going to be singing uh, in just a few moments. And uh, we'll be hearing from him. Check him out at theguardiansquartet.com, guardiansquartet.com, for more information about John Darren Rousey. Well, you heard him sing a few moments ago. Let's talk to him now and see what we can find out. All right? Would you welcome Matt Linton to Atlanta Live tonight? All right. Matt, it is great to be in Atlanta. Welcome Home to of the Varsity Restaurant. Home <laughs> of the Varsity is exactly right. Everybody that comes to Atlanta has to have a burger from the Varsity. That's right. right. That's right. Or uh, on them uh, dogs. Like chili dogs. Chili, chili dogs. dogs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Matt, welcome. We're glad to have you I here. I am so glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about Matt. Where does Matt come from? Well, my wife and I and all of our kids are originally from New Brunswick, Canada. Canada. We've got people we are. watching online. Yes, tonight. I'm glad. Hi, if, hi, Mom, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> there you and, go. And, uh, you know, people say, how do you sing Southern Gospel being from Canada? I yeah. get that question all the time. Yeah. And uh, the truth is it's Northern Gospel. Northern yes, Gospel. Yes, that's the truth. No, not really. There you <laughs> but, go. But, um, you know, Southern Gospel is actually very big in New Brunswick, Canada. It's a very rural area, uh -huh. and uh, that's what I grew up on. You know, I grew up watching the McCameys. I just sang a McCamey song. You did. I watch up, uh, watching the McCameys and the Gaithers and, you know, all of what that stuff as well. I heard you oh, I love the Hensons. The original Superman. Love the Hensons. My friend Ronnie Henson wrote that. Yes, oh. you know. I got to sit around at a National Quartet Convention this year. Yeah. You know, afterwards in the bus parking lot. Yes, yes. We all got out banjos and guitars and uh, sat around a campfire and grilled out some burgers and all wow. that stuff. And uh, I got to sit around a campfire and hear stories and sing together with Ronnie Henson. Oh, wow. And I will treasure that forever. Mm -hmm. Now, let me take a guess. And if my friend Ronnie Henson is watching tonight, he's going to laugh. You might have set out there to about 2 o'clock in the morning. It was about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's yes, about it was. his bedtime. That's right. <laughs> no, he's just getting started. About it was that cold. Time. It yeah. was in the cold. low 50s, yeah. you know, at night. Yeah. And uh, But we had fun. My favorite Ronnie Henson story is every time I say, well, what time is the bus, what time is bus call? He'll say, well, it'll be midnight, but it'll be 2 a.m. before we ever leave. Because that's the way the Hensons were. They yeah. never were in time. Time is no time. object. Yep. No, no. We told somebody at Cortec Convention, and you'll love this, Matt. Uh, Ronnie walked in one night and sat down up there beside of us. And uh, we were watching him. He just come in and sat down. And I leaned over to my friend Bill Bailey. I said, "It's Ronnie's world, and we're just all in it." That's right. That's right. <laughs> he is a legend, a living legend. Hey. He is. Yeah. So, so you come from Canada. Where yes. do you make home now? We live in Katy, Texas, which okay. is a suburb of Houston. And you're in full time uh, ministry. Full time ministry. We've been full time now for seven years. And uh, before that, we were pastoring a church up in New Brunswick okay. called the Church in Motion. And Pentecostal, we, right? Yes. So, yes. so now probably, the, people can probably tell. Now let's 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 stop right here. So in in Canada, not only did we have Southern Gospel, yes. we had Pentecostal. Oh, on every corner. Man, <laughs> absolutely. I may have to go to Canada. You might need to go to we'll Canada. We'll bring you up there. We'll have a good time. <laughs> We'll take you up in the dead of winter when it's 30 below zero. Uh, you can keep that. Take <laughs> yeah. me in the middle of summer, all right? So, you're, so your family's in Texas. Yes. You minister full time. 
and, and the Lord has blessed you with a wonderful gift. Do you write songs as well or just sing? I have never recorded anything I've written. I see. But I do have a book of some stuff that I'm writing. And, well, you're a uh, pastor as well, or was. Yes, So, yes, you're, so you're, you take notes yes, and write things yes, down. Yes, yes, yes. But um, there might be something coming down the, the pike here before too Good long. I don't you. know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Now, you have, what's your latest recording called? Uh, do you know how it feels is the project. Okay. Uh, our single that's out right now is called It Was the Blood. Okay. And that song was written by your friend and Chris mine? Chris Allman. Chris Allman. From Greater Vision. Vision. And he's also my producer. Yeah. And uh, first class guy all the way around. That's awesome. That's you awesome. Know? But I'm, you know, talking about the blood and, and these songs I just sang, the original Superman, Just in Time, Do You Know How It Feels? You know, uh, let, me, let me share this story with you. Please. I was driving to the airport to come to Atlanta. And I took an Uber from my house to the airport. And, you know, it's about a 45 minute drive to the airport. And uh, I got talking to the Uber driver. And he wasn't from this country. He grew up in another country. And so I was asking him about where he was from. And, and he told me he grew up, I, I won't name the name of the country, but he grew up in a communist country. Wow. wow. And all of his child life and into his adult years was a communist country. And, and uh, he's been in the U.S. now for about 30 years. And so I got asking him about what was it like? You know, we have our ideas about what it might be like to sure. be under that type of control. Sure. But I wanted to hear it from him. What was it like growing up in that, in that time? And he said things that I never expected, Josh. He said, until I was in my early 20s, I never was able to listen to music. Wow. He said the government would not allow us at that time. It was the records. You know, any type of messaging, whether it be music, radio, television, newspaper, had to be government content. And he said, my world changed when I started listening to music and the power of music. Yeah. And he said things like, I never was able until I was 20 years old to wear denim and blue jeans. Even the, wow. even the clothing was controlled by the government. And I got thinking about that, and the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me right there in that Uber about the freedom yeah. Not about this country. Yes, we have great freedom in this country. Yeah. I'm glad mm -hmm. and honored to live in the United States of America and to be from a, a nation like Canada. But God began to speak to me spiritually about the freedom that we have in the spirit. Absolutely. And as a Christian and salvation that we have. And if, if we were to go back and ask that Uber driver, I don't even know his name. If we were to ask him, would you trade what you feel now in this country and how yeah. you live, would you trade that to go back underneath that bondage? Right. It wouldn't even be an option. Right. right. And we have the greatest thing yeah. on this planet, salvation yeah. in Jesus Christ, yeah. you know, having our sins washed away, yeah. being baptized, yeah. having his spirit in our life every yeah. day, the name of Jesus and the yeah. blood. And yeah. I was thinking when we were singing those songs, yeah. the power and the freedom in yeah. the blood Amen. and the name of Jesus. Absolutely. How privileged we are. I don't want to trade it. Not for a thing. I don't want to go back to bondage. I want right. to go back to life of sin. I'm glad for the freedom that we have. And it was something yes. like that that just opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes we take for granted what we and have. Not only, the, not only fr like you said, the freedom in this nation, but our freedom in Christ Jesus. Yes. And to think, though, on the flip of that coin, we do have the freedom in this nation. Right. To proclaim the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. And it is the greatest name, mm -hmm. and there is no other name. And we have to take the message. You think of, yeah. you think of that man. Somebody had to bring him that mm -hmm. first record right. mm -hmm. that he could put on that player and listen to it. Yeah. He, you know, he couldn't find it by himself. Someone had to take it to him. Right. We have to take yeah. this message. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. our job. And that's right. what you're doing. Yes. That's well, this all sounds like a song to me. Somebody needs to write a song about oh, this. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Go ahead. Go John ahead. Darren Rousey, where are you, my friend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, Good we're, we're thankful that you're doing that, man. Yes. And mm -hmm. we're thankful for all others that are doing that. Pastors, evangelists, preachers, ministers, laymen, singers, songwriters, mm -hmm. thank you Amen. for what you're doing for the sake of the gospel. We must have you in these last days that we're living right. in. We are living in, the, we are living in a prophesied generation, ladies and gentlemen. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Amen. And so whatever you're doing for the kingdom of God, keep doing it. That's right. Be encouraged. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. 
Keep doing what you're doing for the sake of the gospel of Jesus right. Christ. This is an eternity that we're talking about. Right. We have an eternal God, and eternity is reality mm -hmm. of what's going to come. And so keep doing what you're doing. Matt, you keep doing what you're doing as well. You too, sir. Tell us, Ashley. Tell us about where we can find more information about you, your ministry, your product, all of that great stuff. My best friend is Brother Google. Brother Google. If they go to Brother Google and they just type in Matt Linton Music, all right. it'll all pop up. But my website is mattlintonmusic.com. Good. If they go to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever they have, it's, it's all just there. Matt Linton Music. And they can find me, contact info, product. Oh, Everything yeah. is there. Everything. You want to have Matt at your church? Yes. You can do that as well. There's contact information there. Contact him. Your people will be blessed. Amen. I promise you that. Matt, thanks for being on Atlanta Thank Live. You. You've blessed us with music. You've blessed us with a testimony. Thank you for being here with us tonight. And again, thank you for being here with us as well. It's been a great show thus far, hasn't it? It has Ashley? been. But it's not over. That's right. We've got some more music we heard from the man and the songwriter and the, and a few moments ago, but now we're going to hear from the singer, John Darren Rousey. Welcome him again to Atlanta Live to sing for us now. John Darren Rousey. My brother Matt Litton inspired me. So let's go old school for just a minute. Can we do that? Go down to the river, put my knees down in the sand. I'm gonna holler high, Hosanna's Lord, till I reach that promised land. the graveyard and you can lay this old body down oh but on that first resurrection morning oh Lord here's what's gonna happen I'm gonna come up come up Me. I know he will be there. So if you should get to heaven before God comes me home, tell all my friends and loved ones that I'm coming and I won't be long. There ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. Ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. When I hear that trumpet sound. Grave. 
baby's gonna hold me. No baby's gonna hold me. No baby's gonna hold me. So when I hear the coming sound, I'm coming up out of the ground and there ain't no grave. And the reason I've got that assurance is because He loves me. It's a love I can't understand. I'll never be able to comprehend or explain. But boy, am I thankful for that kind of love. You listen. In my weakness, through the struggle, when I'm questioning why In my grief and every sorrow When I have to say goodbye He whispers peace My heart understands The God who made the world Holds me in his hands, he knows, he cares, he sees, he's there. No matter what goes wrong, I know I'm not alone. He
nothing I can do to earn it. But I'll tell you what, he loves you just because you breathe in and you breathe out. You listen. I'm always trying to be the man who would take a stand for what I believe. Give my brother a helping hand, doing what I can for someone in need. I tried to be good and sometimes I could, but other days it didn't work out. I was hot and cold, pink and then bold. Trust the Lord and then have a doubt. You might think I'm not good enough. That's the great thing about God's love. I breathe in, I breathe out. Nothing's gonna ever change why he would trade his life on that cross for my crown. And the only thing I have to do to ever make him love me is breathe in and breathe out. That's it. Whoa, whoa. There's always gonna be someone who will be telling you you don't measure up. It doesn't matter how much you do, from their point of view, it's never enough. Lord God really loved you, he's speaking of you, and you're the apple of his eye. He's a friend and a savior, you have his favor, so leave the world's opinions behind. I don't worry about what people say, I just remember the price he paid. I breathe in, I breathe out. Nothing's gonna ever change why he would trade his life on that cross for my crown. And the only thing I have to do to ever make him love me is breathe in and breathe out. Whoa, oh, oh. I know I don't deserve it, found I couldn't earn it. Jesus paid it all and I'm free. And the only way to show it to a world that doesn't know it is to live it and give it. Out. Nothing's gonna ever change why he would trade his life on that cross for my crown. And the only thing I have to do to ever make him love me oh, is breathe in and breathe out. Nothing's gonna ever change why he would trade his life on that cross for my crown. And the only thing I have to do to ever make him love me is breathe in. And breathe out. I breathe in and breathe out. I breathe in and breathe out. I breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. John Darren Rousey, right there, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, songs that he has written, mm -hmm. and it will accept the old. Pentecostal standard of ain't no grave. Ain't no grave. Ah, that was written up in the hills, I think, in the hollers of where John come from. Is that good grammar? That, ain't no grave. Ain't, that ain't good grammar, but that's the <laughs> way we say song. it anyway. It's a good yeah. song. We've had a grand time here tonight with John and with Matt Linton. And again, I hope that you'll check these guys out on the World Wide Web. Follow them on social media sites. Purchase their music and love on them. Hey, we love you. I want you to know that. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. I tell my folks all the time at church, in our meeting, our greets, and, and even uh, last night after our Wednesday night Bible study, I tell them, turn around and love your neighbor and say, I love you, and Jesus loves you. And there ain't nothing you can do about that's it. That's right. And that's the way I feel about it. And uh, we love you. Jesus loves you. There's not anything you can do about that's that. Right. His love reaches. His love it goes high, it goes deep. His love reaches out, and Amen. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Hey, if you haven't called in and you still need prayer, there's still people standing by in the phone booth, and uh, there in the phone room you can call. There's a number on the screen. They'll be glad to pray with right. you and for you, and uh, we just want to hear from you. That's so vital and so important, and we appreciate you watching tonight. Let's pray before we go, can we? Lord, I love you. I thank you. Thank you for this wonderful program that we've had here tonight in Atlanta. Lord, we've had such wonderful guests and music.
music and word. I pray it's been an inspiration. I pray it's been inspiring. I pray that it's been a blessing and an encouragement to the people who's been watching us tonight. Lord, whatever they've been dealing with and going through and whatever oppressive spirit may have them bound, I pray that they've been lifted and they've been released. And God, that their faith has increased and that, Lord, as, as we come to the close of this uh, now time of, of, of Atlanta Live and this show, I pray that all things that have been done has been for your glory and for your honor. And I pray that the people of God have been encouraged and blessed by it. And Lord, can we just do it now? This that we have asked of to give you thanks and praise. For you are God, you are Jehovah, the Messiah, the soon coming King. And we ask you now, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Well, again, it's been a, pri a privilege. Let me spit that out and say <laughs> it right. And it's been a privilege to be with you tonight. It's been our joy and our honor. Thank you, John Darren Rousey. Thank you, Matt Linton. And thank you for watching Atlanta Live. We'll be back again soon. Until next time, feed your faith and starve your doubts to death. Look up. Jesus is coming soon. We love you. Good night.